Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to tell you about the cast operator inside the SQL language. So the first thing here is we've got this uh, got an employee table. I'm just going to do a select star from the employee and execute that. We have 14 records in this employee table. Now, if you look at the column salary, that is a decimal column. Another way to, to find out what is in the table is to hold down your Alt key and click F1. And so I highlight the table, hold down the Alt, click F1, and we can see that the salary is a decimal with seven precision and two scale. So let's pull that table back up. Now, right now, if I just select that salary column and then I execute it with F5, you'll see that um, I've got all the data there. Now, if I want to turn that into an integer instead of a decimal, you use what's called the cast operator. And so you say cast, which is a function. You say what column you want to cast. And then you say as, and you say what you want it to be. And so I'm going to turn it into an int. And so now if I execute that, you can see there's no decimal places because the integer doesn't have decimal places. So we have just changed that into an integer. Now we can also change that into a character. So I change it into a varchar. And when you change it into a varchar, you have to specify the number of digits. So if I put three in there and then we execute that, we're going to get what's called an arithmetic overflow. We can't convert the numeric, which is the decimal as we saw, uh, to a varchar. So what we need to do, and the reason we're getting an overflow is because if we go back to the salary by itself, and we run that, what you're going to see is there's more than three characters in these fields. So we have, and this one's probably the biggest here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need, at least need to cast it to seven. So let's try that and see what happens. I'm going to cast it to seven. Then we'll execute it. And now we have a character field um, instead of a decimal, a varchar. So that's with the arithmetic overflow. One last thing I want to show you about this cast operator and when it's useful and when I use it the most is when you are actually trying to put two columns together. So let's look at the table. If I want to put the employee with the salary, well, the employee is a string and the salary is a decimal. You cannot put those two things together. You have to have two strings to put together. So let's first try that and see what happens. So I'm going to take the employee name and I'm going to put together the, uh, the salary. Okay. It's going to yell at me, error converting data type varchar to numeric. It tried to convert this to numeric in order to put those together. But what we really want to do is take this salary and cast it as a varchar. And we'll do a varchar 7. And let's see what we end up with here. And you can see that we have just put this column together. If we want to put a dash between the two, all we have to do is put a string in there. And another concatenation operator, which is the plus sign in SQL. Um, in SQL Service, the plus sign. And so we execute that, and now we've got a dash in there. And so that is the cast operator, which is a function inside of the SQL language.